Since the early days of the pandemic, the Broad Institute has run a large COVID-19 diagnostic center. In its first two years, this center, operated by the genomics platform at the Broad, processed and analyzed more than 35 million samples to support public health efforts. Broad employees have worked around the clock to develop and maintain a uniquely large and automated diagnostic facility that can process up to 140,000 tests per day. Schools, colleges, nursing homes, hospitals, and local testing sites send their samples to the Broad for analysis. Let's take a look at how a sample is processed from start to finish. Once a patient sample is collected, it is packaged and shipped to the Broad. When samples arrive, technicians scan the barcodes on the sample tubes and confirm patient information. The testing sites make sure that the samples are collected in a consistent way, which speeds up the processing. The samples first go through a machine that can uncap 1,200 tubes every hour. A second machine adds a chemical that kills any virus that might be in the samples so that they are safer to handle. The chemical also releases RNA in the sample. Another machine transfers the samples from individual tubes to high-capacity trays so that many samples can be analyzed at the same time. An extraction machine uses small magnetic beads to capture all RNA in the samples. The RNA is then prepared for testing using a process called the polymerase chain reaction or PCR. PCR uses special enzymes and other molecules to convert RNA to DNA and look for DNA from the virus. It then uses heating and cooling cycles to make copies of the viral DNA so that scientists can detect it more easily. By measuring the amount of viral DNA in each sample, scientists can see whether someone has the virus. Once the test is complete, lab workers review the results before sending them to other organizations that notify patients and healthcare providers. Unlike most testing facilities, the Broad goes one step further. If a sample tests positive, the testing team shares it with the Broad's viral surveillance team, which sequences the virus's genetic material to help public health officials keep an eye on known and new viral variants. Now that the infrastructure and processes are in place, the Broad's COVID testing lab can be easily adapted to respond to new outbreaks caused by emerging COVID variants or by other infectious diseases entirely.